saw the news come across yesterday with Bryson Stott making the big league roster. And I thought to myself, this is awesome. I feel like the Phillies uh, had a lot of pressure from the hometown fans already. And I thought to myself, that's pretty amazing, considering the Phillies haven't even made their way north. They wrapped up spring training yesterday, and now they're coming north. And the big league ball club, I'm sure, can hear it all when it comes to wanting Bryson out of the big league roster, wanting Mickey Moniak in center field, and basically one of this Phillies seems to the Phillies seem to do exactly what they should be doing throughout the season, which is smash home runs. Uh, so I, I saw that, and then the very next thing I, I thought about was this. It was the fact that Alec Bohm also made the big league roster. Now, I never really thought that they were going to put Bohm in the minors. I thought that they were going to keep him at the major league level right now, especially with designated hitter. Not that you're not going to give the vast majority of those at bats to Nick Castellanos or Kyle Schwarber or even Bryce Harper from time to time to give him a break or JT Real Muto, whoever it might be, uh, Reese Hoskins. There's going to be opportunities for Alec Bohm to get reps. I think the way spring training has played out, Bryson Stott is your opening day third baseman. And Mickey Moniak is your opening day center fielder. So for me, just by the way the guys competed for jobs in spring, that's the way they're going to go into the regular season. So I'm excited to see that. I think the Phillies made the right move. And as I said yesterday, I don't hear anybody, not one soul, going for the fake take. Now, what's a fake take? I've explained this before over the years, but here's what I got for you. A fake take is something so ridiculous. It's hotter than a hot take because usually what happens is in times like these where we're all just going, hey, maybe Bryson Stott should get a shot at playing third base or maybe shortstop or at least being on the big league roster. Or, hey, maybe Mickey Moniak should be your opening day center fielder. Simple, logical statements like that is all anybody's saying. Fast forward a month. Mickey Moniak might be struggling. Bryson Stott might not be good at the big league level. And then you got somebody that comes along with a fake take. And the fake take in this regard would be, oh, well, you know, if everyone wanted Bryson Stott up here because he's a Hall of Famer, or everyone wanted Mickey Moniak in center field because he's the hottest hitter in baseball. Ah, like, nobody's saying that. I think Phillies fans have been very temperate in their expression of what they expect from these two players as they start out of the big league rush. We got what we wanted. Now let's see if they can really put them to the test at the big league level and see how they perform at the highest level in baseball. So I'm stoked. I'm excited. Can't wait for it to play out. Uh, Phillies, of course, are coming north uh, for uh, baseball. So uh, we can look forward to that. What's the Wednesday? Yeah. Opening day, Friday. 